Hey y'all, I'm Abby, More Than Just Skin, and welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm thrilled you took some time out of your day to spend a little bit of time here with me. Today's video is December Favorites. Now, I am admitting that this video is being filmed before Christmas, and it's going to go up either before Christmas or right around Christmas, and I realize we have a whole nother week in December, but the reason that I am doing this now is because I don't really want it to get lost in the mix-up of the 2018 favorites. So I have um, prepared a few videos for 2018 favorites. I did makeup, I did skincare, and then I did lifestyle. So I want to get those up um, at the end of December, first part of January. So I decided to go ahead and do the December favorites, which I do have a good bit of things I've been loving this month. And then I also will have a December empty. So I have a few videos coming, um, which I hope you will tune in and watch. So today's video is December favorites. So if you would like to see and hear about what I have been loving during the month of December, hit that subscribe button and here we go. Let's start with what I am wearing. A few items, jewelry items that I've been loving this month. First are these earrings and they are um, kind of like a triangle shape hoop and I got them from Amazon. I think they came in under $10 and I have been loving them. I've been wearing them a ton this month. Also, this initial necklace, which also came from Amazon. I love this. I think it is so pretty. And the third jewelry item I have been obsessed with this month is mantra bracelets. I love mantra bracelets. Um, I have gotten a few more. I've gotten some as gifts. I love looking at them and they have these sayings on there. Like I have one that says live in the moment. I have one that says live more, worry less. You're my person. That was gifted to me by anti-aging anti Amber. Um, she believed she could, so she did. That was gifted to me by Amanda on Instagram, and I can and I will. And I just feel like these are, they, they have a great message. Whenever you need a little maybe like boost of something, you can look down and read these, and they remind you um, of what you need to be reminded of and the person that gifted to you. So I just really love those. The next item is also something that I am wearing, and it is a red lip. So every single, sorry y'all, my phone's going off. I need to turn it off. Um, every single day during the month of December, I have rocked a red lip. Now there are a few different ones I've kind of gone back and forth between. Um, I'm not featuring in this video the Lisa Eldridge lipstick because you can't get it anymore. It's a deeper red. I think it's called Velvet Jazz. I did not bring it in here and I have worn it some, but I found myself gravitating more towards a not a deep red, but like a bright red, like this color red. And this one is one of the favorites that I have been loving. This one is Russian Red by MAC. I have just a little small, um, small size of it. But some of the other ones that I have been loving as well is Ruby Woo by MAC. Very, very matte. It's a retro matte. And of course, I have filmed a red lipstick video, so I'm not going to go into a lot of details. This one I did not feature in my video. It is Rouge Dior 999 and it looks like that it is really just gorgeous I wore that in I think I wore this in a video but I can't remember which video I wore it in um if you were interested in seeing it on and what video I wore it in link it tell me in the, it down in the comments and I will figure out which one I wore it in another one that I have been loving is wild ginger by Tom Ford. This one is definitely more orange um, than red. I actually consider it an orange. And then the last one is Chili by MAC. I love these little MACs. They're just perfect little sizes, especially for something like a red lipstick that you don't wear all that often. So yeah, that's, and plus you don't reapply it. I mean, you may reapply it maybe twice a day, maybe if that much. So yeah, I've really, I've been rocking a red lip. I'm actually going to hate to see, I thought about this a good bit. I'm gonna hate to see December end because I've been loving the red lip that I may like rock a red lip like one day a week. You know, just commit to one day a week, I'm wearing a red lip and I just, I, it's just fun, I love it. And I think in January, I will drift more into that darker red lip like the Lisa Eldridge and I have a few more of those. So I am planning in January to do kind of a vampy lips um video like a dark lips video so that one stay tuned because that will be coming 
Staying with makeup, let's talk about what I have on my skin because I actually, I think, have worn all my favorites today except for maybe one. Um, the foundation that I have been loving, loving, loving this month is the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation. This has argan oil in it if you have dry skin. If you have acneic skin, I was watching Mel Thompson's video and she said that argan oil is really good for acneic skin. So if you have acneic skin, this is good, but especially if you have dry skin and in these drier, um, colder months, this feels absolutely divine on the face, on the skin. It wears so good. I have it on right now. I have been wearing it a ton. It's kind of been my go-to this month. Also, I think it's great for mature skin. So this is great, and I have it in the shade G55 Adventurous. So yeah, great, great, great foundation. I have been setting it with the Cody Airspun. Um, I've fallen back in love with this. You know, I think if you watch some of my favorite videos, you will see that the past few months I've been totally devoted to the Laura Mercier Translucent Glow. I kind of don't want that with a foundation that is this dewy. So I've really been relying on the Cody Airspun. This is a great drugstore powder. If you're in the market for a loose powder and you want and budget is something you have to think about, go get this one. It does have a very intense scent. The scent doesn't bother me. Like I've said before, it reminds me of my childhood. And I actually really enjoy the scent. But if you do have an aversion to scent, stay clear because it is, because it is highly, highly scented. Next is a concealer I've literally been wearing like every day. It's an oldie, but I've kind of rediscovered it from my stash. And I love what that happens. And I love showing those in my favorites because I think it's great to show you that you don't have to, your favorites doesn't have to be like all new stuff. And half of this stuff is not new stuff. Like the Cody Airspun, I've actually had that Josie Moran Vibrancy since the spring. Like I think that is so incredibly fun to rediscover old favorites or things that maybe you never knew were a favorite but are in your stash. And this is one of those that is an old favorite. It is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have it in the shade Medium Light Neutral. And I will tell you, it literally matches my skin perfectly. It does not create any kind of brightness under my eyes, which is what I've been going for. I haven't really wanted a whole lot of different shade tone under my eyes. So when I'm when I'm wanting that, this is the one I reach for. It has kind of, even though it's called it's medium light, even it says it's neutral, I find it to be yeah, very neutral. It doesn't pull warm. It maybe pulls a little cool, honestly, but it doesn't really have any pink to it. But it's just perfect for my skin and I love it. Something that I am eating my words about, I'm wearing it right now, my highlighter. And I got this highlighter because it's very hyped up. And then I used it a few times and I was like, mm, I don't like it. I think I'm in the minority. I hate that, but I don't like it. And then I started using it again and I fell in love with it. And it is the Pixi Glowy Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. Now I mix these two shades together usually. I will occasionally wear them on the, their own. Today I mixed them together and I actually went in with a heavier hand because I knew I was going to be filming. I went to the grocery store this morning and I did not, I, I wore this, but I did not use a heavy hand and it looked fine. And I didn't have this bright, of, I had a red lip on, but it wasn't quite this bright. It was kind of a little like smudged Parisian type look. So I wasn't scary at the grocery store, I'll say that. But I don't know, I may have been, but whatever. It's the grocery store, who really cares? But um, I digress. This is great. I love it. Yes, I'm converted. I don't know. I think... I was using too dense of a brush last time and I like it better with a fluffy brush. So I have said this before that I think with highlighter, a one brush for every highlight is not gonna do it. Some highlights you need a denser brush, some you need a fluffier brush. So I have about three different highlighter brushes and I feel like between those three I can get, one of them will work. So yeah, love this. Moving on to something that is new. Um, it is a blush, and it is my first Charlotte Tilbury blush. Um, when I found out Pillow Talk came back in stock, I was like, this is the one I want. None of her other colors really spoke to me, and I was waiting for one to speak to me before I pulled the trigger on it because it is pricey. But y'all, this one spoke to me, and I love it. I literally have been wearing it since I got it. It goes with everything. It is perfect for this time of year because it's not too bright. It's just kind of like that perfect blush to give you some color on your cheeks, and it just goes with any eye look. So yes, I've been rocking this pretty much the entire 
month. Another item that I actually am not wearing today, but I've been wearing a ton this month, and I actually featured it in my Get Ready With Me, my chatty Hollywood holiday, not Hollywood, holiday Get Ready With Me, is the Super Shock Shadow from um, Color Pop in the shade Ritz. It is one of those that you just put it on your eyelid, and it just look, makes your eyelid look kind of like glistening and wet. And so I just think it's gorgeous, especially for a holiday party, or I actually... Y'all have been wearing it to work, what can I say? Um, but yeah, I just really have been enjoying it. It's so easy, you apply it with your finger. It's just really, really great. Love this. The big favorite of the month is something that I have been wanting for a while. And y'all, I had so, I had really basically given up on it because, and I had been given, I would given up on it so much to where I bought the dupe of it. So I have the dupe and I have the original. And if you want to see a comparison video, tell me in the comments down below and I will for sure film that comparison because I actually have both. And I wanted it and every time I went when the Sephora sale was going on, it was always sold out. And finally I got it with the 25 off of 75 and it is the Pat McGrath. This is the Mothership, what is it? Mother, I'm sorry, the Mothership 5. And the packaging's gorgeous. It is very heavy, it's very substantial. You open it up, it has a beveled mirror in it, which is crazy to me. Um, but I mean, it was an expensive palette. It was crazy how much I spent on it. But y'all, I have not regretted it for one day because I have literally been wearing it constantly through the month of December. And so let me tell you, also I'm kind of considering filming um, a few different looks with this to show you the massive amount of looks you can get because it's really shocked me how many different looks you can get. For example, one day this week, I took this purple shade and on a flat brush, but like a fluffier flat brush, and kind of diffused it to where it wasn't real, real dark. Diffused it starting all over my lid, up into the crease, and then I took, which one did I take? I think it may have been this one right here and just kind of pressed it on my lid and it gave a very cool toned look. So I created a cool toned look with a palette that I consider to be pulling more warm. So um, also one of my favorite looks to create is to use this brown shade right here in the crease and then take this on my finger and it kind of comes off a little bit. So if you can see a little bit gold, I'm not sure you can even see that on my lid and it's just a very simple look. Of course, you can get definitely more vibrant, more shimmery today. I went in a little bit more with some shimmer, but it's just the possibilities are endless. So for the price, I think it's worth it because the pans are really big, the palette is substantial, and the number of looks I can achieve out of this, the number of really unique, different looks that I can't create with another palette, that's the biggest issue. Um, you know, you buy these palettes over and over again and they all look so similar and you can literally create the same look with every palette you have. And especially if you're like a neutral girl, kind of like I am, you create the same exact look with all different palettes. So do you really need that? No, you don't. And you don't really need this. But what's great about this is you can create a number of different looks and that's why I think it's worth it. And so I will, I am I'm happy I purchased it. It has been a favorite. I would be a miss not to include it in my favorites because I've literally been wearing it every single day. Love it, even for just more of a natural look, which I know people wouldn't think you pull for this if you grab, if you're, this isn't the palette you reach for for a natural look, but it is for me and it's worked for me. So I do love it, love it, love it. We'll be happy and probably will, even if no one requests it, be posting some videos in January using this palette because I've been loving it. Last as far as makeup goes is my Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon. So I have featured this in a favorites before and I'm gonna tell you why I love it. Because I can create just a very skinny line on my top lash line and it just, it doesn't make you look like you're wearing eyeliner. It makes your lashes look fuller and longer. That's why I use this, that's why I love it. Moving on, I have three skincare items that I have been loving. The first one is Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I have a funny story to tell y'all about this. <laughs> when this came out, sweet Jordan, sweet, sweet, sweet Jordan. So I sent Jordan a text and was like, congratulations or something like, 
I'm happy for you and your new cleanser, but I don't think I will be liking it because I can't imagine the other cleanser without a scent. I mean, if I'm going to cleanse my face, I want that scent. I was something kind of snarky like that. I mean, I was, I was nice, but I kind of was telling him, yeah, I'm not really probably going to try it. <laughs> and sweet Jordan, y'all, sweet Jordan, was like, well, you should have gotten yours by now. It's in the mail. And I was like, damn, that was so mean of me. He sent me one. You know, I have to try it, blah, blah, blah. I'm eating my words. Jordan, God love you. I'm eating my words. This is great. Um, there are times when you need something like this and you don't need that scent and that extra exfoliation that is in that the other cleanser. And the other cleanser is the after show treatment cleanser. And this is the after show treatment cleanser for sensitive skin. So this one is great. I do have sensitive skin. I can use the other cleanser, hence the reason it's like an all time Hall of Fame favorite because I've gone through so many of them, I love it. But I can see this one kind of inching up and being maybe a second to that. It's definitely not gonna replace that for me it definitely would for people who have ultra sensitive skin and who are ultra sensitive to fragrance. Me, I like a good fragrance, but this one is still so good. And the fact that it doesn't have a fragrance doesn't put me off. So love that. Jordan, if you're watching, love you. Apologize deeply. Um, okay, other skincare. Colleen Rothschild's Matcha Tea Treatment Toner. Gorgeous. I've been using this pretty much all month and look, I haven't even put a dent in it, but it is gorgeous. It has um, an antiseptic power to it. It has black tea, green tea. I'm just reading that on the back. It smells divine. It makes your skin soft, luminous, feels great. I can't say enough good things. This has, I have embraced this year the soothing toner. I still love a good acid toner. Um, I actually rely on acid toners more in the morning. Um, it just works better for my skincare routine. Because I use retinol at night, I like a soothing toner before I go in with my retinol. I embraced the soothing toners and this one has quickly, I think, taken the lead. Yeah, I, I can safely say it's taken the lead. It's great, love that. And the last skincare item is something that I always go back to this time of year, and that's the reason I get these small sizes. And I actually have a backup of this small size, but it is the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I love this. This is my go-to moisturizer during the day. It is definitely thicker than all my other moisturizers, daytime moisturizers. It also has SPF 15 in it, which I like, and especially on days when it's cloudy and not too sunny and I'm not really going to be outside too much, I feel like this is enough if my... Um, foundation has a boost of sunscreen in it as well so I go in with this it is great it plumps your skin it just instantly makes your skin look better you look youthful you look alive and it's great to sit under makeup so I love this and last is a fragrance it is the Hermes Ombre Nargule love this um, I was watching some back some some Christmas vlogs from Christopher Allen from last year and he said it just like Christina Brawley did it smells like a bourbon cake, <laughs> a bourbon cinnamon spice cake or something like that. And if I hear that, I'm like turned off because I don't want to smell like food. But y'all, it smells so good. It smells so good. And it smells like Christmas and it just makes me think of Christmas. And I just have the little small sides, which is probably what I will always have. But I will go back to it and back to it this time of year because it is gorgeous for winter. It's gorgeous for Christmas. And it just smells spicy and comforting and warm. And like you just want to wrap up in it and hold it tight. So yeah, loving this. Okay, so those were the December favorites. Those were the items that I have been loving the month of December. Let me know what you have been loving in the month of December. I would love to hear down below and stay tuned for a wrap up of favorites for my 2018 favorites. Those will be coming very soon. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you back here on a regular basis. And as always, I hope this video finds you having a fantastic day and a great week and I will see y'all soon. Bye y'all.